from the Fox 10 Gulf Stream. This is Next Weather. Thank you so much for joining us on Fox 10's Next Weather. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. Meteorologist Michael White wants to take a closer look at those weekend rain chances. So this is what those models are thinking and about the timing of the rain and the storms. What do you have for us, Michael? Hey, thanks a lot, Matt. And by the way, you've been doing a great job filling in for Jason. He's out at the grounds, as most of you know, filming that uh, action movie. So, you know, wish him all the best. But as far as the weather, it's all about what is happening for Christmas, right? You know, we had a very warm Christmas in 2021. We got into the 80s. We saw a very cold Christmas last year with that Arctic blast. And it looks like this is going to be somewhere in the middle. But could we see storms this time? Well, I picked this up off the GFS, which is the main American model. I uh, did this last night, so it may look a little different today. But it's got most of the rain and storms pushing in when Santa's delivering presents. This is 3 a.m. Christmas morning. So this would be late Christmas Eve night, early Christmas Eve morning. And it looks like a warm front's going to be lifting ashore. And that's going to bring rain and storms to the Gulf Coast. And then by 3 in the afternoon on Christmas Day, on Monday, we would have the warm front lifting northeast. The rain and storm chances would end. So it looks like it will be a pre-dawn to morning window where we would see potential rain and storms. Now, a lot can happen between now and next Monday, as most of you know. So we'll just have to be watching that carefully. Uh, way too early to know if there'd be any sort of severe weather threat. It looks like this would just be rain with maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Uh, the long-range ensemble temperature projections off the GFS does show that tongue of warmer air moving in for Christmas weekend, where we would have highs in the mid to upper 60s, mornings in the mid to upper 50s. So it certainly wouldn't be cold for Christmas, but it might be chilly as we end 2023 and move into 2024. It looks like New Year's is showing signs of chilly air working its way in across parts of the Gulf Coast. It's been a while since we've had a really bone chilling cold New Year's, but uh, we might have some colder temperatures diving in uh, by the time New Year's rolls around. So that's another thing we'll be watching and following over the uh, next several days. Well, I will be back in the saddle tomorrow for your Wednesday on another edition of Good Day Gulf Coast, where we will continue to update you on what the projections are for Christmas weekend temperatures temperatures, rain chances. We'll be doing all of that. And of course, uh, Matt, I know you've got much more coming up here on Next Weather and later tonight on Fox 10 News at 9. Have a good one.